I don't know what it was about this year, but like every third everything came out. To All the Boys 3, Kissing Booth 3, After 3, I finally found a third brain cell. But more importantly, the world got the trilogy it truly deserves. The Princess Switch series, aka Vanessa Hudgens living out her dreams of doing whatever the heck she wants. To be honest though, I am actually a little impressed that they were able to somehow take like the flimsiest idea of all time and get three movies out of it. But all the same, I mean, we all know that this movie's gonna win best everything at the Academy Awards. So, you know, what do we say we just jump right in and experience the magic of The Princess Switch 3? But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Somehow, it's 2021. Pretty much everyone knows what a VPN is. It protects you when you're on the internet, it stops your IP address from being hacked and your personal data getting exposed. I mean, everybody needs one. But Surfshark VPN goes above and beyond your typical VPN. You can use it on as many devices as you want with just one subscription. They also offer their Surfshark Alert service that checks to see if your personal data has been leaked anywhere, like usernames, passwords, that kind of thing. So you can stay one step ahead. As well as their Surfshark search engine, which is a completely private and organic search engine free from data tracking and overreaching algorithms. And get this, you can sign up to Surfshark VPN today by going to surfshark.deals slash Alex Myers and use the promo code Alex Myers to get 83% off the regular price when you sign up for a two year subscription. That means you get premium VPN services and a guaranteed peace of mind using any device or all of them at the same time. Plus four free months if you sign up before December 31st. So if you don't have a VPN, then you really need to sign up. But even if you already have one, go to surfshark.deal slash Alex Myers and use the promo code Alex Myers to give Surfshark a try. Okay, back to the show. Now, if you're not up to speed yet on the deep lore of the Princess Switch franchise, there are three Vanessa Hudgens, and that's it. So the movie starts right off and wastes no time throwing us right in the middle of whatever's gonna happen this time around. Because this year, I'm co-chairing an international Christmas festival with Margaret, who's just about my best friend in the world. And to commemorate the occasion, the Vatican has loaned us the Star of Peace, a priceless relic that once belonged to Saint Nicholas himself. Hey, wait, isn't that Santa Claus? Wait, is Tim Allen gonna be in this movie? Don't tease me like that, Netflix. Now, as this opening part's going on, they're still kind of setting everything up, and we get the opening credits where we learn that the movie has eight executive producers. That's how you know it's gonna be a masterpiece. And then the rest of the credits are just like, starring Vanessa Hudgens, produced by Vanessa Hudgens, cinematography Vanessa Hudgens, wow, she really gets around it. Catering by Vanessa Hudgens, how does one person have enough time to get special appearance by Vanessa Hudgens as the chair? Is there anything she can't do? Anyway, so this dude from the Vatican shows up with the Santa Claus star thing. Your Highness, I present to you the Star of Peace. Now, one day, while Stacy and Margaret are preparing for the big Christmas ceremony thing that all this stuff is all about, they get some rather unfortunate news that the Star of Peace has been stolen. Now, the police are doing their best, but they have no leads and nothing to go on, so... Oh my goodness, it looks like Christmas is gonna be ruined this year. The police are handling it. They have no clues and no lead. What we need is someone with information that the police don't have. Someone with connections. We need a person who actually thinks like a criminal. I don't even knew someone like that. Fiona. You want to employ the woman who, with the help of her cohorts, masqueraded as you in an attempt to take over the country. Well, yeah, when you put it like that, it sounds stupid. Now, Fiona, the third member of the Vanessa Hudgens cloning experiment gone awry, has been serving her time out in a convent in just the literal middle of nowhere. So Margaret heads on over there to ask her if she maybe wants to join in on some good old fashioned rescue ranger shenanigans. What a scrumptious surprise. I thought it might be pleasant for us to have the holidays together. As long as you promise to return by December 26th, uh, there's a hearing of the disciplinary committee. Miss Pembroke is free to spend the holidays at the palace. Sounds like a gas. <laughs> so they let Fiona out under Margaret's watch so she can spend the holidays in the palace and maybe like kind of help them catch an international super thief. You know, as you do. We can certainly use some good news right about now. No worries, Royal Six Pack. Good news has arrived. Special delivery. Handle with care. <laughs> <laughs> they also brought them back too. <laughs> Spicy. Me. Now, Fiona wastes no time and gets in contact with an old fling, I guess you could say, who can hopefully help them figure out who stole the star and where they took it, and also maybe how in the heck they filmed this scene. But whatever, anyway. haven't lost your touch. Yeah. 
yeah, so this is Peter Maxwell, someone Fiona has known for pretty much her entire life. They tried dating for a while, but didn't really work out because he was always like, okay, this time I'll be Tuxedo Mask and you be Sailor Mercury. Again? Well, now that we've limped down memory lane, can we talk business? The Star of Peace. You want my help getting it back. Why is it so important to you? Well, it's important to my cousin. I treated her unkindly. Let me show you what I've dug up. So what we come to find out thanks to Peter's Avengers hologram supercomputer is that Peter thinks the star was stolen by this guy, Hunter Cunard, the hotel billionaire. It's a little known fact that Hunter's secret obsession is collecting precious items that aren't for sale. Paintings, antiquities, jewels. He loves an impossible challenge. You can't go to the police. Why not? Hunter has friends everywhere. One wrong word to the wrong person and the star disappears forever. So what do we do? You steal it back. And turns out, wouldn't you know, that Hunter billionaire guy might have a little thing for Fiona. Or like, they used to have a thing or something because Fiona's dated literally everyone. Or as she puts it. So, uh, this bad boy had a thing for you, huh? Oh, he had a bit of a steamy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know if that's something you want to go around telling people, Fiona. <laughs> I've read Urban Dictionary enough times to know that anything with the word steamy in it is, is well above my pay grade. So first they try to like accidentally run into this billionaire guy when he's out walking his dog, but it doesn't really work out so well. So they end up circling back and have to come up with a new plan. Oh look, it's a poodle tree. <gasps> Let's pick us a ripe one, shall we? <laughs> Can we please talk about plan B? Thank God there's a plan B. Peter always has a plan B. Oh, hey, trust me, I get it. I mean, when you date a girl like Fiona over here, <laughs> you better make sure you always have some plan B handy. You know what I'm saying? The steamy. Hunter's newest boutique hotel is unveiling its Christmas decorations tonight. He's planning a walkthrough at four. It might be a bit difficult to get his attention, but I'm sure you'll be up to the challenge <laughs> once you freshen up a bit. I didn't even do anything. He just smeared more lipstick on her face. What even was this scene? Fiona, you look dreadful. Here, let me help. Oh, thanks. Anyway, so long story short, Fiona goes to this thing Hunter's putting on, so hopefully she can get his attention. Have you been naughty on my list? Fiona Pembroke. Hunter. <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Well, age before beauty. I own the place. So basically Fiona's master plan just kind of goes like, Oh, hey there, Fiona. Oh, hey, Hunter. Can I go to your Christmas party thing at your house? Well, sure, Fiona. Anything for you. All right, cool. Bye. Now, the plan is that while Fiona has Hunter's occupied, shall we say, Peter and Fiona's sidekick stooges or whatever they are, they're going to break into his, like, vault or whatever and steal back the Star of Peace. Very simple, foolproof plan. Nothing could possibly ever go wrong. So Peter takes about 20 minutes and sets up this mock Mission Impossible practice room that's an exact replica of Hunter's vault somehow. But really, this whole scene is just Vanessa Hudgens being like, hey guys, so I, I got really into yoga over the last year. You think maybe we could do a scene where like I do a bunch of sexy catwoman stuff for no particular reason? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the stage, <laughs> Cinnamon! <laughs> so in between practicing for the billionaire break-in, Peter takes Fiona on all these fancy dates where he takes her up in a helicopter to some like Christmas village somewhere, and then takes her to an ice skating rink where he has the genius idea to just start dancing right through the whole rink, and everyone else around them is just like... <laughs> And of course, wouldn't you know, they end up sharing a moment. Now, while Fiona's henchmen are practicing for the break-in, this guy ends up getting hurt because he, like, fell off a roof. So, golly gee, what are they supposed to do now? We still need two people to get around security in the gallery. Mindy can't do it. She's handling the cameras. We'll have to come up with something else. But there isn't time to come up with something else. Ugh. Forgive me for pointing out the obvious, Your Highness. But if Miss Pembroke could successfully impersonate Her Majesty, Her Majesty could impersonate Miss Pembroke. Oh my goodness, you're right, Frank. They do kind of look alike. Huh, what are the odds of that? And so, in a crazy plot twist, the princesses have to switch places. So that's why it's called Princess Switch. So Fiona's gonna break into the vault with Peter, Margaret is gonna take the place of Fiona and flirt with Hunter to keep him busy, and Stacy is barely in this movie whatsoever. May I present Fiona Pembroke. <laughs> Fiona Pembroke. Any thoughts?
not. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, all these guys' faces here are just like, ah, maybe you guys could just like stay like that for a while after we're done here. I know exactly how you feel. But, 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 but later that night, the palace gets a call from Fiona's convent that her disciplinary hearing has been moved up to that very night. Something important's come up, and I, I desperately need Queen Margaret's help. Uh, you see, the disciplinary committee was set to review Miss Pembroke's case after Christmas, but, uh, well, I've just received a call and they've pushed up her review. Here at seven o'clock. Tonight? And so now Stacy has to also dress up like Fiona to take her place as well. And then Edward's just over here like, Oh, golly gee, sure hope we don't mix any of you guys up later. <laughs> now finally, it's time for the big heist, with Fiona breaking into the vault, Margaret handling Hunter, and Stacy handling the nuns. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad we could make it. Oh, how could I resist one of these? Do you uh, like to see my Christmas tree? <laughs> you want to see my Christmas tree? <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now? Does this line ever work for you? Hey, Kelsey. What? You wanna see my Christmas tree? You mean your sad, droopy Charlie Brown bush? Hey, come on! Anyway, so just to summarize what happens here, they break in, get the star, Stacy gets Fiona's sentence commuted, Vanessa Hudgens shows off her yoga bod once again, and they barely escape with their lives. Did you get the star? Oh, of course we did, Royal Worry Walls. <laughs> Also played by Vanessa Hudgens. Peter has the star. He fooled every one of us into thinking we could trust him. So Fiona, feeling a little silly that she trusted this Peter guy and even maybe sort of kind of was getting some feelings for him, <clears throat> goes to find him at the old boarding school where she and him first met like 30 years ago. <laughs> uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> 11 years ago. Maybe. I needed to get your attention. I want the star. And you'll get it. Or you'll just go on living an empty, hollow life. So that's why you double-crossed me. To let me know I'm destined to be lonely and miserable? More or less. I know I said I'd always be there for you, Pemmy. This is the end of the line for us. That's a relief. But then, in a double plot twist, turns out Peter was actually a reverse quadruple agent working for a secret organization of the 12 original Vanessa Hudgens who control the world from the shadows. And Peter is actually the recessive gene clone of Hunter, and the Star of Peace actually contains nanomachines that Hunter needs to access a secret underground vault and revive St. Nicholas. Using the arm of Santa Claus, he grafted onto himself 10 years ago to take down the organization of Shadow Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> anyway, so in the end, the day is saved. Fiona brings the star back, she makes up with her mom, who just kind of shows up randomly at the end, and of course she gets together with Peter because, as everyone knows, the basis of every good relationship is lying and double-crossing each other. Beautiful woman, alone on Christmas, gazing up at the night sky. I expected better from you. I didn't think I'd see you again. I was mad at you, Pemmy. Also, shout out to Fiona's hat for just being here living its best life. Margaret and Stacy throw their little Christmas party thing, and that's pretty much the end of the movie. Yeah, so at this point, I'm pretty convinced that Vanessa Hudgens has been doing all these movies just so she has an excuse to make out with as many conventionally attractive wooden boards as she possibly can. Because, like, every male lead in these movies clearly put all their skill points into their chins. All of them have a chin-to-personality ratio of, like, 100 to 1. But all the same, I don't know if this is the end of the Princess Switch saga, or if this will somehow continue into the Netflix Christmas cinematic universe, with a Christmas Prince 4 hudging their bets when Amber and Richard have to defend their kingdom after the polar ice caps melt to reveal an army of Vanessa Hudgens war machines. I know you have my number, Netflix. Come on, give me a call. Let's make it happen. Hey, everybody. So just like with Kissing Boo 3, Kelsey and I recorded a podcast dedicated to Princess Switch 3. So this is just a small sample of that. You can check the full thing out. Uh, link below. Princess Switch off the TV. <laughs> What's up? It's called Princess Switch 3 Romancing, Romancing the, the star. star. Yes, because they all fall in love with the star. Yes. <laughs> They're all distracted to a, a it, it, It's actually an episode of um, that TLC show. My Strange Addiction. My, my Strange Addiction. So it's actually an episode of my, my Strange Addiction where they're all just in love with Christmas ornaments. <laughs> and they just can't stop making out with them. They're all in counseling together. It's like, actually, the, the, these Christmas ornaments have secret microchips in them that they need to use to access the, the secret organization of 12 shadow Vanessa Hudgens that are ruling the world <laughs> and pulling the strings behind the scenes, you know? There's like an underground facility that has clones of her in tanks. It's, it's like Alien where 
they she actually like deposits like a weird thing inside people, and, and then they and then like another one bursts out of another Vanessa. Hudgens. That's how Vanessa Hudgens are born. And there's and there's there's twelve the twelve wise women, which are the original clones of Vanessa Hudgens that are ruling the world behind the scenes. It's like Resident Evil. It's the V virus. Pretty much. It, it literally. You get bitten. The VH virus. Into Vanessa Hudgens. Or or they they they, they get the star back. They put it on the tree, and then it like. It's, Opens up a trap door and they go down into the lab where, they, like you said, there's just like vats of just Vanessa Hudgens all the way down, and a single spotlight on just like a, a brain inside of like a vat, and it's like I'm the original Vanessa Hudgens. 